Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am ranking brands from Sephora, ones that I have tried, not all of them, <laughs> but over 20 if I counted correctly. I recently watched Angelica do this video and she mentioned Kelly Gooch, so I went over there and watched her video. I think she kind of started this theme, but I know that the tearing and everything of skincare has been done, just like just a lot of different videos, but I don't know if this started on TikTok or if somebody specifically started the whole tier, whatever it's called. I actually made my own <laughs> because I am technologically challenged and I could not figure out tier maker. Yep, that's me right here. <laughs> Anywho, I will be linking Angelica and Kelly down below. And if you guys know of somebody else, please leave them so that I can tag you guys or add them to my description box. Without further ado, I am gonna start. Now I have this little picture here. Let me go ahead and scoot over so you guys can see it. We have it ranked from give me everything to big fan, take it or leave it, I'm bored, and then Absolutely not. So I'm gonna be putting each of these brands in one of these categories. The very first brand is Danessa Myricks. I have been enjoying everything, almost everything that I have gotten from the brand. I think it's very innovative. I absolutely love Danessa. If you have not checked out her Instagram, it is so inspiring, especially if you love more editorial looks, a lot of color and all of that. Her textures and techniques are just absolutely impeccable. I have said it time and time again, and her products speak to that. So obviously, I'm putting this in the category of big fan. I haven't quite reached the level of give me everything, but she's right on the board. Like, we're almost there with her. I mean, this close. Next up, La Mer. <laughs> Every time I think about this brand, I think about Kelsey calling it La Mer. <laughs> Kelsey Brianna J, my best friend. And to her defense, it was not her fault. Literally somebody at a counter, like at the La Mer counter, I don't know if maybe they weren't supposed to be there or not, but they called it La Mer. <laughs> so I hear that every single time I talk about La Mer. You guys know, I love La Mer. I love their foundation. I have been back and forth with the powder that's the new pressed one. I love the loose powder. I love the original one, but it's been taken over by Sicily. And then skincare wise, just like put it all over my face. I know this is a brand that's like people love it or they hate it. There's almost no in between for me. Big fan, absolutely, absolutely a big, huge fan of La Mer. A brand that is soon, sadly, to not exist, Becca Cosmetics. My heart hurts. <laughs> and this is the thing, I have so many things from the brand that I really love, but over the recent past years, they've put out quite a bit of dud. So I can't put this in the category of big fan. This is another one that's kind of right, it's, it is right just kind of teeter-tottering for me. So I have to put it on take it or leave it because a lot of the products recently are take it or leave it. But two products in particular I use on a daily to weekly basis, which we all know is my Becca Under Eye Anti-Fatigue Primer. Got it on today, as well as the Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. Those are my ride or dies, and I'm like, I'm so nervous to be without them. I'm sorry about my voice, you guys. It's kind of going back and forth because of the accident. I think it's the whole airbag thing, so <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it clear, but you know, it doesn't always want to cooperate with me, but I feel a lot better. But anywho, back to Becca. We are putting it in Take It or Leave It because the most recent releases have not been my favorite. Back in the day when they first started and with the Chloe and Malika collection, I love them. I love them with Jaclyn Hill. I love their highlighters but it's just kind of slowly gone down. I'm still gonna miss the brand because I really truly thought that they could have a comeback, unfortunately. I mean, it's not all said and done. Something could still happen. I'm still, I still have my fingers crossed, but Becca is right now going to be in Take It or Leave It. Makeup Forever. I remember getting so excited about so many things from the brand. I felt like it was so artistry driven and I do still think that it is just like Mac. I wish that Mac was on this list because yeah, I would put it in here, but 
it's not sold at Sephora. With that being said, if you guys wanna see round two of this, I'm gonna leave a pinned comment and I want you guys to put some brands in there that I did not talk about today and I will do a part two that just won't be specific to Sephora. So Makeup Forever is going to have to go in I'm bored. They went from this artistry driven brand that just really, I loved so much of their products. I love their foundations. I love some powders, some highlights, the bronzers. I had so many things from them that I truly, truly loved, but I can't think of the last thing that they have released that I've really loved. I know I tried a lip liner. I think it's one of those that can be used all over the face. I like it, but I can't, you know, I don't think about it. So yeah, I'm bored. They can make a comeback, but I'm bored. NARS. <laughs> if you've been watching me at least recently, you will know where I'm gonna put this. This is one of the brands that I, again, so excited about. This used to be give me everything. I wanted everything that came from NARS. Unfortunately, recently, they've been putting out the same thing time and time and time again. I was doing my declutter, the two, like my duo challenge, taking two products from each category and I literally could have taken two palettes out of NARS that looked almost identical and still had more of the same shades, <laughs> the same palette still left in my collection. <sighs> so I just feel like they are repeating themselves. They're doing too many orgasms, too many lagunas, too many of these sparkly pink and warm tone palettes that are just, they're just redundant at this point. So I'm truly bored with them. That's why I haven't picked anything up recently. You guys have seen, well, I think the last thing I picked up was the cream blush, which did not go over well. So yeah, your girl is bored. Pat McGrath Labs. Now she's had a few products that I definitely have not been on board with, but overall, when I find out that there is a Pat McGrath, anything coming out, I'm just like, give it to me. I don't care. I wanna try it, I wanna try it, I wanna try it. I get so, so, so excited. The only reason why I did not try the concealer and the powder was because of ingredients, and I've heard nothing but great things about those products but I don't wanna fall in love with something that it will, you know, break me out. <laughs> and I have a feeling I'm gonna fall in love. I try things that I know will break me out, but I kinda of hope that I don't love them. <laughs> I know, I don't make a lot of sense, but Pat McGrath has to go into give me everything. Just put it all over my face, especially the eyes. I'm wearing Pat McGrath today, the Divine Rose 2. You guys know this is my project pan, and uh, yeah, I'm waiting for those blushes. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Marc Jacobs. <laughs> oh, Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs. I was really into Marc, Marc Jacobs, <laughs> when the Edutorial, not the Edutorial, because that's the name of the palette that I really, really like is the Edutorial. But when those palettes came out and they reformulated them, that was a high point for the brand. And with the coconut bronzer, I don't like coconut, but that was the big time for them. At that time, I would have been like, give me everything. Even though it smelled like coconut and I don't like coconut, I still really loved the products, but it's slowly just been kind of teetering off the highlights, those bigger highlights that he's done. Uh, yeah, the texture has not been right. It's too thick and dry looking and very texturizing on the skin. The last collection with the foundation and concealer in one and just all, it's just, I haven't been liking things. So this, for me, Marc Jacobs has to go in, I'm bored. Almost going down to absolutely not. We're, we're almost down there and I don't wanna do that. I'm hoping for a comeback, but right now we're teetering. Next brand by Mario, makeup by Mario. I I gotta put this one in, take it or leave it. I'm not super impressed with the brand. I like the brand. I like some of the things that I have. I am currently also project panning one of his products. I'm looking forward to watching his brand grow, but as of right now and the products that are out, I'm just kinda like, okay, I can take it or leave it. I like them. I'm not bored with it necessarily, 
but I'm not excited about it either, so take it or leave it. Next up, Rare Beauty. When I first heard about this, I was really excited about it. I mean, just the different textures and everything. It wasn't this full coverage look that we have been going for. Like today I'm wearing, I know that I look like done, <laughs> but I still have less on my face than normal. Like I'm wearing the Fenty Skin Tint and I just really like those textures right now. So, this was kind of where it started for me trying to get into the creams and I really liked those blushes until I found out that they didn't last on my skin. And there's things from the brands that I really like and then there's some that I don't. So for me, this is another take it or leave it. I, again, I want to see this brand grow. I'm not super excited, but there's a brush that I used today. I'm like looking to see if it's on the count. This one right here. I was like looking all over. I was like, I know I had it. I put it in with my dirty brushes because I used it today to stamp out my concealer. And I love this brush. They recently sent me some PR and I got another one of those brushes as well as the face brush. So I'm really excited to try those out. But right now I'm at take it or leave it but I'm excited for the brand. Does that make sense? I, I think it does, because I'm not a huge fan yet, but I still want to try them out. I still want to test them. I still want to see what they're doing. I'm interested, not bored. That's what I'm getting at. This is another brand that is right there. <laughs> it's Tarte Cosmetics. Recently, they put out a palette that I am absolutely in love with, the Juicy Palette. Love it, love it, love it, love it, and I still am using it. And they, it's like they keep putting out these really great products and then like some duds or just things I'm not interested in. And then a really great product and then some duds, and you know. So I have them in the take it or leave it category. If they had not just put out the watermelon, not the watermelon, the juicy palette, it would probably be in the I'm bored but they did just do that. And there is another foundation. I think they have, it's coming out. It was on QVC, I couldn't get it. I'm waiting for it to come to Sephora. So I'm still interested, I'm still interested. Too Faced on the other hand, I mean, they got me with the teddy bear palette. They did, they, they got me with that palette. It's cute, it's really, really cute. But I did notice a little bit of a difference in that palette. I think it's good. It's not as good as like say the Melt chocolate bar, is it what? Melted chocolate, the chocolate, any of the other tin palettes. It's almost up to par, but not quite, but it's not bad like the Christmas stuff that they always put out. So this one has to go in I'm Bored. They're hanging on by a thread here. It's a very, just a little thread. They can get me with the cuteness sometimes, but then sometimes the cuteness is too much. That palette, I still like, I am still using it. But like, if you asked me, am I going to get more excited about the Tarte Juicy or the cuteness and the quality of the Too Faced one, I'm gonna pick the Tarte one. Urban Decay, let me just go ahead and tell you, I'm bored. <laughs> I thought that this Prince collection was going to be like the, oh, yes, I'm excited again. Uh, I don't know whether I should purchase this or, just say, just don't even bother. You guys let me know if you wanna see it. I mean, I've been listening to Prince ever since I saw this collection come out. I was like, oh, now I wanna to listen to it and I have it all in my head. But there's just like, the palette does not scream, or the palettes, there's two. So the collection does not scream Prince to me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. You guys let me know. If you wanna see it, I'll get it. But. I'm not super excited about it. I was more excited when I didn't see the colors and everything that were in there. So I thought maybe this would be like a redeeming thing for Urban Decay, but as of right now, I'm bored with Urban Decay. So I gotta say the Wild West palette, I, <laughs> I do like that one, I do. I like that one. And I didn't even like put the correlation together that that one was so similar to the Natasha Denona one. It did not even, no, right over my head. All right, moving on. Tatcha. <laughs> if you don't know where I'm going to put this, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> I love Tatcha. This goes with give me everything. I 
love Tatcha. The only thing that I can think of that I've tried that has been just kind of iffy is the recent powder. And it's not a, I don't like the powder. I like it best to just go right underneath my eyes with a brush. You can use a sponge or whatever, but I'm still gonna be using that powder, but I like it just like right here. I think it's pretty there. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be using it too much. If they came out with other shades, I think it would be better, but everything else, their skincare, I use every single day. I love, 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 love the Essence and the Camilla Cleanse Off Oil. That's a brand I don't see going anywhere away from me anytime soon. Before I had my lipstick on, I had the Kisu lip mask on, and uh, yeah. I love Tatcha. Melt Cosmetics. Ah! I will never forget the day when I was working at MAC and I was trying to get right when the stacks were introduced and I was trying to get them for me and I was trying to get them for Kelsey and it was just like one of those where you get your heart's racing, you're trying to get them and I went up to the break room and I'm like, you know, trying to get them on my phone and everything and I remember getting it and being like, yes, success. And I love the stack formula. I have liked uh, some of their liners and things, but overall, I'm bored with this brand. I think that if they could fix the quality of their palettes, I love that they're doing palettes now, I love that, but I don't know why they can't have the same quality as the actual stacks. The stacks quality is, is bomb. The shadows and the palettes is so hit or miss and it's mainly missed that I don't even wanna purchase from them anymore. The last one, um, I don't remember what it was called. I don't remember, but it was really pretty. It was more cool toned. I was almost tempted to purchase it. And I was like, no, don't do it. I can't because uh, yeah, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. And it's mainly due to quality and not necessarily the stuff that they are releasing because the stuff that they're releasing, I'm like, oh, pretty, but I just know, like I don't want to spend my money on them. Joe Malone. <laughs> This one, oh my gosh, I just gave a fragrance that was gifted to me when I worked at Nordstrom. I gave it to my daughter and oh my gosh, it stinks on me, but it smells amazing on her. But that's not the reason why I am putting it at absolutely not. <laughs> There's one fragrance. It's, it has like orange blossom and something else in there. It reminds me of honeysuckle. I want it so bad. But it's a cologne. Joe Malone is a cologne, which is bottom of the barrel. It is below <laughs> Odo to Edu Odo Toilet, however you say it. It's below that. And um, <laughs> it doesn't last. And it's super, super expensive. If this was, you know, half the price or less, maybe I could, you know, get on board, but I cannot. I cannot. I can't even tell you how many scents I tried when I was working at Nordstrom, but that, that one just, it just brings me back to my childhood. I love the smell. You know, I wonder if it comes in a candle. I could probably buy a candle, but I, knowing that it is a cologne in the bottom of the barrel and uh, it's so pricey, it's uh, absolutely not. Benefit Cosmetics, my favorite brow gel of all time. They have some really great cult favorite products like the Hoola Bronzer, Hoola Light. They extended like caramel and I don't remember what the other one is. Then they have, oh my gosh, the cookie highlighter. They just have so many just really great hits, but I'm like a little bit wishy-washy with them. I get really excited and then I'm not excited at all. So I have to put them in with take it or leave it but the brow gel is like at the top, you know, but the brand of itself is take it or leave it. Charlotte Tilbury, ah! I love Charlotte Tilbury. I love her products. If she could take cornstarch out, we would be good. I guess it's like done and done, but she has that ingredient. So a lot of the products I have to use very sparingly or not at all, but the eyeshadows, they're just like, oh, the eyeshadows especially recently have been so, 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 so good. And so many products that she's been putting out, I've been absolutely in love with. So we are putting Charlotte in big fan, like big, big fan. Dior, oh, 
This one I went back and forth with. There wasn't too many that I really kind of danced around and wasn't sure, but Dior was initially in Take It or Leave It, but then when I thought about it, I thought there's too many products that I like from Dior to put them there, but they are teetering because other than that foundation, which I didn't even know that they had released, I haven't been wanting, you know, I haven't bought like their eyeshadows or blushes or anything really because I haven't been as drawn to them. But then like the backstage stuff I love. So I'm putting this in the big fan category because I have so many things that I love from this brand. And I think that I'm gonna continue that. It's just that they kind of have these little moments where I'm like, I'm not into this, but then they come out with something that I love. So I'm putting them in big fan. Fenty, <laughs> what I have on my face right now. Oh, I like Fenty. I like Fenty a lot. From the foundations, to the skin tint, to the highlighters. I, I think the eyeshadows are take it or leave it, but still just like overall still pretty good. I gotta say this brand, hmm, is definitely a big fan, especially like all the cream products. She's just coming out with some really, really great, great things. The only thing that I would say in her line that are just kind of like, eh, I like a lot of them and I don't like or like kind of mediocre are the shadows. She could make some improvements on those, but overall, big fan. Natasha Denona. <laughs> Natasha Denona. You guys should know where I'm going to put this. Just like Pat McGrath, as soon as I know something is coming out from her, I want it. It doesn't even matter what it is. I want to try it. She definitely has some things that are not great, and then she has some amazing things. And I think the amazing things definitely outweigh the not so great. My Metropolis palette, I still absolutely love. I really like that she, it's like at first I didn't like that she would mess around with formulas. I'm like, if you have something good, don't change it. But then she comes out with something more incredible. And then sometimes she, you know, it's, it's a miss. Like I just decluttered something from her. But overall, this is a brand that I get excited about every single time I know that she is about to release something. So this goes under, give me everything. Oh, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. There was a time that that was one of my most beloved brands. I still have this special place in my heart for Anastasia. I have the Brow Wiz in my brows today and there's certain products that are just staples. And there's so many palettes in my collection that I absolutely love, but something is not really going great with the brand recently. I think we all know that it's just kind of, it's went from this amazing brand to just kind of, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I gotta say, sadly, right now, I'm bored. I am hoping for a comeback, but right now, I'm really bored. KVD. I don't even remember what the new name is because they rebranded and then they rebranded again. This is under Take It or Leave It because I have tried that new Apple foundation. It's pretty good. I am wanting the new cream blushes. So it's kind of like, all right, you're starting to intrigue me a little bit. So I'm not going to say that I'm bored with it because I would have had I not just tried that foundation and been excited for these new liquid blushes. But I think that they are trying to up their game and I'm very curious to see what they have for the future. And I gotta try those blushes. So KVD goes under take it or leave it. Huda Beauty. <laughs> I wasn't sure about this one. I was like, well, there's some things I really don't like, but then like there's some things I really do like. And the, the one thing that I hated the most was the foundation and she just fixed it. So <laughs> the Obsessions palettes, those are definitely hit or miss, but I have liked the larger palettes. I think they've been really, really great. She can get a little repetitive with the shade range, but overall, I am a big fan of Huda Beauty. When she puts something out, I tend to want it. The last thing though that she put out, there are those little miniature, I think they're mini highlighters, the four pan. I don't want those, but overall I still have to say I'm a big fan of 
Huda Beauty. Next up, we have Jouer. I'm bored. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. They were just like popping, 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 and now I'm just like I can do without it. I'm I'm not excited about it. I'm not gonna say that there won't ever be some excitement for the brand, but as of right now, not something I'm looking for, and I don't get excited about anything that I see. I'm just like okay, whatever. Yeah, like I don't even want to talk about it right now. I'm just like oh, uh huh, mm, yeah, okay. Tom Ford. Mm, this would have gone under give me everything, but they've been making some mistakes, you know, they've been making some mistakes. <laughs> I feel like other than the wet dry formula, the wet dry formula is absolutely like a perfection in my eyes. I have not gotten one that I've been like, meh, I don't really like you. I love the wet dry formula eyeshadows. The foundations are great. The blushes are great. I love the lips. It's just these uh, eye palettes that I'm very irritated about because they are $90 and they just aren't worth it. Um, the wet dry formula, I, I love them. And for me, it's worth it. I understand that everybody has a difference into what's worth it and what's not, but their matte palettes that they've been putting out with the shimmer, I, um, they have not been worth the price tag for me at all, at all, at all. And I continue to buy cause I keep hoping I'm like, fix this, fix this, give me Coco Mirage quality. And um, they're just not doing it. But overall, the brand is something, again, that I really look forward to and I really, really love. So I'm putting this under big fan. Four more to go. Stila. Ah, who remembers Kitten Everything, which is funny because that's my nickname. And then the liquid eyeshadows, it was just like, yes, 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 yes. And it was Stila, 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 and those shadows, everything. And then just all of a sudden it's like, poof. Uh, was it the Mystique? Were they called the Mystery or Mystique something shadows? Those were terrible. And I feel like it's just kind of gone downhill from there. There hasn't been anything that I'm just like, yay, Stila. It's not that I'm not watching out for them because I am. I'm just, I... There hasn't been anything. So for me, this goes under absolutely not because I don't know that if I even saw something that I would really even be interested in getting it, to be completely honest. Things could change, but that's how I'm feeling right now. It's just like, no, no, mm-mm. Vizzy Arts, ah, this one has been something that I loved. And then it was a brand that I was losing interest in. And then they were trying really, really hard to change formulas up to really listen to their customers, which I absolutely love. I love a brand that can take some criticism and improve. And that's what they did. And from there to now, I have been a big fan. I love their palettes. I think they're beautiful. Some of them, not as much, but mostly hits. So they're going under, big fan. Smashbox. <laughs> I can't even remember the last Smashbox thing I purchased. Am I, actually, I think it was last year, the foundation that wore like all day. It was very, very high coverage. I would not wear that today, but back then I absolutely would. Uh, this is like, absolutely not. I'm not interested in this brand at all. I don't see anything that I'm interested in. Don't care. And lastly, we have Kaja. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not completely sure. And I've tried several things from this brand, not everything, but several things. And this was also along my hunt for things that were cream. It's not a brand that I've gotten really excited about, but it's not a brand that I really don't like either. It's just kind of boring. I wish they would come out with more products, a little bit, a little bit more innovative. So I'm going to put Kaja under, I'm bored. I don't see myself purchasing anything from Kaja anytime soon, unless they do something different. So right now I'm a little bored. All right, beauties, that's everything. Let me know what you guys thought about this tier and what you think about where I place these brands. Do you disagree with me? <laughs> Are you screaming at me through the computer or the telephone or the telephone, the cell phone? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> telephone <laughs> or the TV. If you are, let me know and uh, let me know if you want to see a part two of this. I'm going to leave a comment and I'm going to pin it. So just make sure that if you would like to see a part two, like that comment. And if you have a brand that you would like to see on the list, 
leave that as well. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you check out Kelly and Angelica. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.